Welcome back guys to Brisket Medic. This week we're going to be playing with our old country Pecos. Now I told you uh, a while back ago when I first got this thing, my goal was to make this um, under $500 smoker uh, operate and perform as well as, if not better than, a two and $3,000 smoker. Now if you remember, I bought this off Facebook Marketplace for $200 or $250, I can't remember which. Um, and it was just bone stock. And so what we've done so far is obviously we did the smokestack extension. Uh, we did remove the baffle plate after a lot of experimenting, flipping it upside down, drilling holes in it, shortening it, um, and ultimately removing it with the extension was uh, the best for um, efficiency and effectiveness. Also, uh, a lot of you have experienced this. When they line up the firebox to the cooking uh, chamber, those uh, holes aren't even, and we took our plasma cutter, we evened those holes up, but I also opened it up about 13% more. And so it, it has a little bit more breathing room, it's opening up that draft, it's uh, pulling a lot better, increasing the convection in the cook chamber itself. So on top of that, we did add a thermometer um, over here on this side, and then a thermometer over here on this side. Um, I do have a cork plug in this hole right now because I didn't have any more of these uh, half inch uh, steel fittings um, to uh, plug it. So uh, a natural cork, not a rubber cork, a natural cork plugs that hole just fine. And because we were measure measuring the temperatures at great level, there's nothing cooking up here, especially with those three inch stems. So we moved them down to great level for a lot more accurate uh, measurement of temperature. Now also, we made some fire bricks and we lined the bottom of our uh, firebox with those fire bricks and it has been working outstanding for the last five six months running it just like that my fuel efficiency went up the effectiveness of the fuel went up and so um, you know everything's working really really great but we're not quite done with the smoker yet i'd like to get done with it pretty soon and so the last few things that we're going to be doing is i'm going to be creating a sleeve over this firebox so that I can use this insulation. I ordered this on Amazon. I'll put a link down below um, for this insulation because if that just the fire bricks, homemade fire bricks, or was increasing my efficiency as much as they did, I can only imagine how much better wrapping the firebox with insulation would do. Now this is uh, ceramic insulation. It's what they would use in a forge, um, so it's going to work just fine um, all around this firebox. And uh, then we're going to sleeve it um, with some metal just to keep it protected. Now the elements to allow it to do some work, and then we'll be done. This smoker, look, guys, I've bought everything for this. I did go to the scrapyard for the metal, um, and but it wasn't like I got lucky and just found something super cheap. I've already bought everything for this, including a plasma cutter, and I have less than $800 into it. Insulated firebox, it's gonna have a smoke collector exhaust system. It's gonna have a nicer uh, thermometers. It's gonna have better wheels. It's gonna be running as efficiently and effectively, if not better than a couple of thousand dollar smoker. And right now, a $2,000, $3,000 smoker isn't gonna buy you much. But for $800, we're gonna have a freaking amazing smoker. And I can't wait to get it finished up with you guys. I hope you join along with me. You stick around through the whole video. This is gonna take place over a few days, maybe even two weekends, because it's super hot outside and I don't have a whole lot of time off. So I may have to stretch this out over a couple of days. Um, it's not going to be like an instructional video. I just want you to follow along with me um, through this journey as we get it going. And then at the end, we're going to light it up. And we're going to try it out. And either this is going to be a major fail or uh, really freaking awesome. So make sure you stick around. Stay tuned for that. Jump in. Let's go.
Well guys, I've officially burnt out a 15 year old $100 wire welder from Harbor Freight. That was actually a refurbished wire welder I bought from Harbor Freight 15 years ago. Um, actually, I think it was $79 when I bought it. I've burned it out. It's completely done. Um, I am a carpenter, not a welder. Uh, it's rough, but it's welded. It's on, everything's together. It looks ugly, but we'll see how it works. After welding on this thing, folks, I really do appreciate what welders do and uh, guys that manufacture these smokers. I really do appreciate them so much. And don't get me wrong, I love my old country. Uh, Pecos, the Brazos, all the old country products are outstanding products. And I think uh, from the factory, they're amazing. But I do believe that with a little bit of modification, they can be even better uh, and far better than anything in their price point. And that's why we're doing all this. We've got our firebox insulated. Um, I wrapped an inch and a half of insulation all the way around. It's three quarter inch insulation, wrapped it twice. Uh, so that's an inch and, a half, inch and a half of insulation and uh, sleeved it, got that sleeve welded on there. Uh, everything's buttoned up. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's okay. Um, I'm not selling this to anybody uh, because nobody would buy it. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to run amazing. So when I'm used to cooking on a bigger pit, um, we used to use a torch, something like this, to preheat the pit. And, you know, it had like a three-inch sidewall all throughout the pit and the firebox, and we would preheat it. And it was cheaper than running fuel uh, like wood um, because this would do it a lot faster, just, just more efficiently and, and, and economically uh, to use propane. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook a brisket to check out how much more efficient this is with insulated firebox. And so we're going to go ahead and preheat the firebox, preheat the cooking chamber, throw the uh, extension back on the exhaust, and uh, get some coals rolling. And while that's getting heated up after I start the coals, I'm going to go inside and get changed and showered because I've been outside welding and it's hot in Texas. And I get to play with fire. Always a bonus. So don't at me this is all i could find for wood last minute um so i'm just gonna put a lot in there and it's mesquite so i gotta let it burn for a minute before i throw anything on mesquite's a great wood for, for brisket it's a great wood for brisket anybody who says otherwise just doesn't know how to use it you just can't throw it on there with the door closed you've got to let it burn down you got to use this when it's hot it still gives a great smoke flavor but if you uh do it and just throw wood on there and throw meat on there at the same time you're gonna over smoke your meat, uh, kind of creosote flavor it. It's not good, make your tummy hurt. All right guys, so I'm breaking in here to say, you saw I only put like five chunks of wood this big into that firebox 
uh, on the coals that have been lit for an hour and 15 minutes, almost an hour and a half. This son buck is almost 400 degrees. Whew. I'm gonna tone it down some. Probably wanted to put wood in it for another 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. So after seven and a half hours, I'm extremely pleased with using only about half, of, well, maybe half to three quarters of that bag of mesquite. That's super impressive. That means that uh, insulated firebox worked amazingly well and I'm very pleased with it. So this brisket, look at that bark, outstanding, is going to go with me to work for the next week. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it. So make sure if you enjoyed this, if it gave you any education or entertainment at all, any value, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and maybe I can buy a new welder. Drink more water, guys. I love you.